Greetings. This is Brother Eli with another episode of Bible Truth Revealed. Today's teaching is entitled, Stop Seeking Hidden Knowledge. That is, Stop Seeking Hidden Knowledge. Many Israelites have an insatiable appetite for hidden knowledge. They are fully convinced that they need to uncover deep secrets that have been hidden from us by our enemies. Therefore, they are constantly searching for what they refer to as lost books. Whenever our enemies slap together a fraudulent piece of writing and falsely claim that it was written by one of our righteous forefathers, naive Israelites quickly rush to read these lies in their desire to gain hidden knowledge. What they fail to realize is that this is a tactic used by our enemies to distract us from what truly matters, which is serving the Most High only and keeping His commandments. For examples of this deceptive tactic, please listen to my teaching entitled, The False Books Leading Israel Astray. That is, The False Books Leading Israel Astray. In today's teaching, I will explain why righteous Israelites must focus on the Torah or the law of the Most High instead of seeking hidden knowledge. I will be reading from the Brenton Septuagint translation. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 8 to 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 8 to 10 reads thus, Vanity of vanities, said the preacher. All is vanity. And because the preacher was wise above others, so it was that he taught man excellent knowledge, and the ear will trace out the parables. So the preacher is King Solomon. He was the wisest man that ever lived. He had knowledge. He had wisdom and understanding beyond what most people would ever comprehend. And he concluded that it was all vanity. Verse 10. The preacher sought diligently to find out acceptable words and a correct writing, even words of truth. To this very day, there are Israelites who are seeking diligently to find what they consider to be correct writings, words of truth. But King Solomon already did that search and he concluded that it is all vanity. Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 3, verses 21 to 24. Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 3, verses 21 to 24, says, Seek not out things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Many Israelites spend too much time searching and digging for things that are too hard for them. Things that are beyond their strength. Things that we have no need to know. Because the Most High does not mean for us to know everything in the lands of our captivity. What we need to know is who we are as the people of the Most High God. And we need to know the commandments of the Most High so that we can keep them. That is what we are commanded to do. Verse 22. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. We are supposed to think reverently upon the commandments of the Most High so that we can keep them. 
instead of seeking secret knowledge. It continues, For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. We have no need to try to find out what's locked up in the Vatican. It is in secret. We have no need to search for so-called lost books. What we need is to think upon the commandments of the Most High with reverence and to keep them to the best of our ability. Verse 23. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. There are too many Israelites that are curious in unnecessary matters and they are not keeping the commandments of the Most High. For more things are shewed unto thee than men understand. We'll always see more things than we have the capacity to understand. But we understand how to serve the Most High only and keep his commandments. That is what truly matters. Verse 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Some Israelites have an evil suspicion that books that have absolutely nothing to do with us are in fact secretly about us. This evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. That's why they can't put down the abominable Book of Mormon. They claim that the Book of Mormon is about the Israelites and that we need to study it to gain knowledge that is hidden from our people. For evidence that the Book of Mormon is yet another fraudulent book that was written by our enemies, Please listen to my teaching entitled, Is the Book of Mormon Really of the Most High? That is, Is the Book of Mormon Really of the Most High? Ecclesiasticus or Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 19, verses 22 to 24. That's Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 19, verses 22 to 24. And it says, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Knowing the nonsense in the Book of Mormon is not wisdom. The Book of Mormon was written by a wicked man who hated the Most High and his people. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the Council of Sinners prudence listening to sinners telling you that you need to seek lost books, that you need this hidden knowledge, is not prudence. We need to focus on serving the Most High only and keeping His commandments. Verse 23, there is a wickedness and the same an abomination and there is a fool wanting in wisdom. The fool that lacks wisdom runs after every book that claims to have been released from the Vatican. The fool that lacks wisdom goes after every piece of garbage that is forged by our enemies in the name of our righteous forefathers. That is wickedness. That is an abomination. And that's one way we can identify a fool that is wanting in wisdom. Everything that pops up, he's behind it because he lacks wisdom. He that has small understanding, that means he only knows the basics and feareth God, so he serves the Most High only, is better than one that has much wisdom. So who knows all these deep secrets, who has hidden knowledge 
and transgresses the law of the Most High. Meaning, he does not keep the commandments. So again, the person that only knows the basics, but he knows to serve the Most High only and keep his commandments is better than those that have deep hidden knowledge and do not keep the commandments or the law of the Most High. We are to focus on the Torah, the law of the Most High, rather than seeking hidden knowledge. There is no need to search for lost books. The Holy Scriptures, also known as the Old Testament, has all the knowledge we need to serve the Most High only and keep His commandments. And in the end, that is what truly matters. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. I'll be reading verses 12 to 14. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 12 to 14. And it says, And moreover, my son, guard thyself by means of them. So guard yourself by means of the wisdom that comes from the Holy Scriptures. The wisdom that is spoken by those who are learned in the basics. Of making many books there is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. There is no end to the number of books that are being made. Therefore, to avoid weariness of the flesh, it is wise to choose just a handful of books to study, rather than chasing after every new book that pops up. In my case, I choose to teach from the Brenton Septuagint translation because after 10 years of comparing Bible translations side by side, I have found it to be the most reliable and consistent of them all. In addition to the Holy Scriptures or Old Testament, it includes the Apocrypha except for 2nd Esdras. This is because 2nd Esdras has been thoroughly proven to be a forgery. For details of this in fact, please listen to my teaching entitled, Second Esdras is a Forgery. That is, Second Esdras is a Forgery. Some Israelites choose not to read from the Apocrypha, and that's perfectly fine. However, I choose to teach from it because it contains hundreds of years of Israelite history that seamlessly complements the Holy Scriptures and consistently points us back to the Torah or law of the Most High. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 continues in verse 13. Hear the end of the matter, the sum. So this is the conclusion. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole man. This is why righteous Israelite teachers constantly remind our people to serve the Most High only and keep His commandments. This is the end of the matter. The sum, the conclusion. We do not need to chase after hidden knowledge. We need to serve the Most High only and keep his commandments. For God will bring every work into judgment with everything that has been overlooked, whether it be good or whether it be evil. The Most High is looking at our works, whether they are good or evil. We will be judged based on our works. In other words, whether or not we keep his commandments, we will not be judged based on how much hidden knowledge we have uncovered. This is why it is best to focus on serving the Most High only and keeping his commandments. 
King David, a man after the Most High's heart, dedicated an entire psalm to the importance of keeping the commandments of the Most High. Furthermore, this psalm is the longest of all the psalms. We can see how seriously King David took the keeping of the commandments of the Most High. Let's read about that in Psalm 118 in the Brenton Septuagint translation. It is Psalm 119 in the KJV. So Psalm 118 in the Septuagint is Psalm 119 in the KJV. I'll be reading verses 18, 34 to 35, 97, and 165. That's verses 18, 34 to 35, verse 97, and verse 165. Verse 18 says, Unveil thou mine eyes. That means uncover my eyes so I can see. And I shall perceive wondrous things of thy law. So rather than seeking hidden knowledge, we should ask the Most High to unveil our eyes so that we can see wonderful things in the Torah. Verse 34. Instruct me. That means teach me. And I will search out thy law. David did not say, I will search for hidden knowledge. David searched the law or Torah of the Most High God and will keep it with my whole heart. We're supposed to keep the law or commandments of the Most High with our whole heart to the best of our ability. Guide me in the path of thy commandments for I have delighted in it. The Torah, or the law of the Most High, is a delight. No matter what the wicked Christian pastors say, it will always be a delight to righteous Israelites. Verse 97. How I have loved thy law, O Lord. It is my meditation all the day. We are supposed to meditate on the law, on the Torah, on the commandments of the Most High God all the day. When we are doing that, we do not have time to seek after hidden knowledge. Verse 165. Great peace have they that love thy law, and there is no stumbling block to them. Because we're not chasing after hidden knowledge, we don't have to worry about stumbling blocks. Our enemies write all kind of nonsense and claim that they're lost books. And these are stumbling blocks to the children of Israel. They lead us away from the truth instead of actually teaching us to serve the Most High only and keep His commandments. Those Israelites who spend an inordinate amount of time seeking hidden knowledge and losing sleep when they realize that many pieces of the puzzle are still missing have no peace. They are constantly chasing after the latest book that is said to have been discovered or released from the Vatican. Little do they know that the Holy Scriptures have all we need to gain wisdom and understanding. Those of us who refuse to seek hidden knowledge have a peace that the rest of our brethren cannot begin to comprehend. This is because we trust the Most High to work out all things, although we do not know or understand everything. In the end, the mad rush for more and more hidden knowledge is nothing but vanity. In conclusion, the Holy Scriptures have all we need to get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the Most High. If we serve Him only 
and keep his commandments, he will reveal to us everything we need to know. And he will take care of everything else. Therefore, we can stop seeking hidden knowledge. And with that I say, Shalom.